the busy beaver. There once was a beaver who was so busy that he didn't always think things through. This beaver's carelessness was becoming a problem. His dams leaked, and he always made a mess of the forest. He left trees half chewed, and worse, he felled more than he needed. Perhaps worst of all, the beaver went about his work with so little thought that a tree landed right on top of a bear. And once he even chewed a moose's leg, thinking it was a tree. This beaver was just that careless. It was only a matter of time before something went terribly wrong. Sure enough, one day the beaver was so busy chewing on a tree that he failed to notice he was falling in his direction. The beaver woke up in the hospital with a bent tail, two broken limbs, three cracked ribs, four big bruises, five sprained fingers, six twisted toes, seven little cuts. Eight stinging scratches, nine sore muscles, and ten nasty slivers. Well, he had spent his entire life chewing, swimming, and building. Well, he never sat still for a second. Now he could barely even scratch his nose. At first, all the beaver could do was stare at the ceiling. But little by little, he began to heal, and with lots of rest, he regained his strength. And before too long, he was trying out a pair of crutches. Well, eventually, the beaver was able to hobble over to the window. This was the first time that he noticed his leaky dam, the mess of trees that he left half chewed, his friend's bandages, and a family of homeless birds. But he realized he had a lot of work to do. The next day, the beaver embarked on a rigorous rehabilitation program. He got back on his feet, did lots of yoga. And lifted weights, and while he was at it, the beaver caught up on some important reading, and practiced saying, "I'm sorry." I'm sorry. Well, soon enough, he was ready to go home. Ah, run for your lives! Well, the beaver's friends were a little worried about his return to the forest, but despite their concerns, the beaver went straight to work. Oh, hi, guys! Well, before the beaver started his first project, he did a full tree inspection. He checked to see if there were any animals in harm's way, and he carried a frightened caterpillar to safety. Then the beaver went ahead and built the family of homeless birds a new nest. Next, the beaver apologized to his friends for being careless and causing so much damage. Sorry, guys. Oh, thank you. Well, to show that he meant it, he made the bear a vase for his den, and he built a canoe for the moose. Oh, oh, apology accepted. Well, the beaver's final task was to clean up the mess he had made in the forest. He hauled off the trees he'd left half chewed, used the broken branches to fix his leaky dam, and planted saplings to replace the trees he felled. With the forest back in order, everyone was happier, including the beaver. His work done, the beaver got to thinking about what he might do next. Well, he came up with lots of ideas as he got ready for bed that night. Maybe he would take a course on dam building, or start a band and go on tour, or take more naps. The beaver liked this idea best. Being busy doing good work was exhausting. And with a yawn, the beaver laid his head down on a soft bed of leaves and fell right to sleep. All that was left for the beaver to do 
was dream. <laughs> Up the creek. There once was a bear, a moose, and a beaver who were the best of friends, though they often disagreed. One sunny day, the bear, the moose, and the beaver decided to go canoeing. The moose wanted to steer, but so did bear, and so did the beaver. Well, they all sat in the stern, and with so much weight in the back of the canoe, it tipped and they all ended up in the water. So they played eeny, meeny, miny, mo, and it was decided that the moose would steer. They all settled back into the canoe and began to paddle. Catch a tiger by his toe, if he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. The bear insisted on paddling port side, but the beaver and the moose also preferred the left. Well, with everyone paddling on the same side, they traveled in circles. Soon, their arms grew tired, so they began to switch sides, and that is when they finally just started to travel in a straight line. But just as they began to make progress, they came to a stop at the beaver dam. Well, they all had different ideas as how to get across. The beaver wanted to push the canoe, but that didn't work. The moose thought they should pull the canoe, but that didn't work either. Fortunately, the bear figured it out. The only way across was to portage. Back in the water, the bear, the moose, and the beaver settled into a rhythm and started to really enjoy paddling along the river. But it wasn't long before they began to argue. Don't stop splashing. Keep paddling. I'm hungry. Well, they argued so loudly that they didn't notice the current growing stronger or the quiet rumbling in the distance. Until it was too late. The river had turned into wild white water rapids. Huh. Thrown sideways, underwater, through the air, and everywhere, the bear, the moose, and the beaver held on for their lives. Exhausted, bruised, and wet, the three friends landed on a rock in the middle of the rapids. The moose wanted to burn the canoe and make a signal fire. The bear wanted to throw the beaver to the shore to get help. And the beaver figured swimming to shore would be safer. Well, they argued over whose plan was best well into the night. The next morning, it dawned on the bear, the moose, and the beaver that they would have to work together to make it home safely. We can do it! Well, so they climbed back in to their battered canoe, took a deep breath, and ran the rapids. They twisted, leaped, crashed, and blasted through the water. The rapids were fierce, but with the bear's powerful strokes, the moose's steady hoof, and the beaver's clever commands, they set a true, clear course. At last, the bear, the moose, and the beaver <sighs> made it to shore. After a much-needed sleep, the bear, the moose, and the beaver worked together to repair the canoe and paddles, and catch some fish, and cook some lunch. And before they tucked into their meal, they all gave thanks for the wildest adventure they had ever had. Rested and relaxed, the bear, the moose, and the beaver were ready to set out for home. And after taking a long look at the raging rapids, they decided to walk. And who could disagree with that? <laughs> <laughs>